now. I hope you can stand the viewing pleasure because here's another fun-filled episode of Creative Sweet TV. And welcome to Creative Suite TV. As you can see, oh, I've changed location again and it's a very special week because I'm at Adobe headquarters in San Jose, California. This is where all the magic stuff happens. And I've got an extra special tip for you this week as well because as of this week, Lightroom 2 Beta just got turned into Lightroom 2. So that means it's open season, it's out there, it's public, Get your hands, it's a very, it's a fantastic product, it's a very cheap product, and I've got a fantastic tip for you, which is for skin smoothing. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there, but we're gonna focus on one thing in particular, negative clarity. So, it's a great tip, hang around. Hope you enjoy the tip, thank you. Okay, well, it's taken a little while, but Lightroom 2 is no longer Lightroom 2 Beta, it's just Lightroom 2, and that's exciting for everyone who likes Lightroom. For those of you that don't know what Lightroom is, it's a fantastic tool for sorting, organizing, editing, fixing, whatever you want to do with digital photography, then this is certainly the application for you. Um, it works brilliantly alongside of Photoshop, and it also uh, works in conjunction with Adobe Camera Raw. So if you're used to working with raw format images, DNG, CR2, NEF, those sorts of things, then this is the program for you. What I'm looking at here in full screen mode um, is the library module. You might have seen, I just clicked uh, on the top of it a second ago, and I've got a whole bunch of images here from Martin Evening. I can go ahead and, and click on this uh, grid view, or I can click on the, on the full thing view. We haven't got time to look at all of the uh, features of Lightroom 2. I'm just going to show you one that I think is pretty fantastic and it's over in the develop mode. Um, we're just going to zoom in on our model here so we can get a good look because we're going to do a skin smoothing technique and I just simply click once you can see over here I have a very um, very similar thing to the navigator um, that was in Photoshop. Uh, we can click on that move that around. There we go. Uh, we can also change the view setting there. So uh, we've got uh, one to three. I can come back to one to two. I can change one to four. Sorry, we can do that very very easily. Okay, here's what we want to do. Over here, the clarity slider that's been in Adobe Camera Raw for a little while now, at least the last version. And if I drag that to the right, it's I suppose it's it's not really sharpening. It's a bit more like adding midtone contrast, which is great. We love midtone contrast. But in this case, we want to smooth out the skin. So here's a little bit of a red hot tip for you. If you drag this to the left, you can get negative clarity. And it works just on those very subtle areas of detail, like pores in skin. So you might be thinking, well, what's so new about that? Well, it is new. You've never been able to drag this clarity slider into negative territory. So if you have a look, as I'm dragging this back over to the left, that's amazing. We've really softened this back up. So if I just do a uh, command or control Z to undo it, as a matter of fact, we'll bring it right back into zero. You see that's, there it is there, zero. I can even type in this little field zero. That's before. And we'll just type it straight in. Negative, say 66, hit enter. Boom, really softens it up. That has softened that skin up no end and give it a real fashion sort of style diffused glow look simply by using one slider. So there's plenty more to explore here. As you can see, there's some new tools above there. This enormous white balance eyedropper, which is just wonderful. Let's have a, let's have a good look at that. There it is there. And of course, um, we've got some great new stuff. And then just to show you again, so for those of you watching on a small screen, there's the clarity slider there, and of course we can bring that over to a negative amount. That's Lightroom 2, which is no longer beat up. It's available now, and what a bargain it is too. Excellent. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that tip. It's such an easy thing to use. Lightroom 2 has got uh, stacks of 
fantastic new features in it. Well, wouldn't you know it, I'm standing on the roof at the headquarters of San Jose here at, at Adobe, and I, there's this bloke up here and he's taking some photographs. What's your name, sir? Uh, Adam Pratt. Adam Pratt? Yep. And, where, and uh, where, where are you from in Adobe? Um, I'm a senior solutions engineer, and uh, like you, I'm just visiting San Jose this week, but normally Chicago is home. So. Well, that's cleared a few things up for all of us, <laughs> hasn't it? Adam, you've been looking at Lightroom for a while as well. Yep. Obviously, yep. the beta, it's just been just been launched. Yep. What's, oh, because looks, it looks like we have a visit. Hello. Okay. Just a plane. It's okay. It's nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... What would you say is your, maybe, can you give us your top two things? Yeah, um, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm loving the uh, live adjustments, Yep. Uh, which I know you covered in this tip. Uh, yep. But the other thing that I'm really fond of is um, my catalog has tens of thousands of photographs in it, and I have this obsessive compulsive tendency to tag every single photo with tons of keywords, city, state, country, the works. Yeah. Um, and so because of that, I'm loving the filter panel that allows me after I've done all that tagging to go back and find them based on country, location, and so on. It just makes it that much easier to find all the stuff that I've actually shot. Yeah, you end up with tons of tons of images there. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. now I can actually find them. You can yeah. find them. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all we've got time for this week, folks. But thanks again for tuning in. I've got some really exciting tips coming up in the future, so hang in there and thanks for joining us again. Mike again, welcome to Creative Suite TV. As you can see, I'm on the road and uh, I've made my way over to San Jose, somewhere right near the airport, strangely enough. <laughs> this week, we're gonna have a look. I've gotta do it again. Okay. <laughs>